we're not B Corp certified yet. We've put the um, application in. I think that, again, you starting with what you can change immediately. So with all of the um, how we treat our employees, for example, that's something that you have complete control over in your business. Especially for us, we're only 35 people, so we can make those changes pretty much immediately. Um, we've recently hired a head of people, um, which I think is quite unique for a business of our size. Um, and so those sorts of things, I suppose, are easier to do quicker. I suppose the more environmental and supply chain um, things, and Liz, who works on our ops team, is proudly taking a picture of me right now. <laughs> um, probably knows more about this than I do, but I think that's where you really have to put the effort and the time in. Um, one thing that we did do is we put a questionnaire out to all of our suppliers to understand what they were currently doing. Um, our beer is brewed in Bavaria, and I think um, Liz and I were chatting earlier about the fact that um, there are not as many B Corps in Germany, and, and none of them are breweries. Um, so it's also about educating your suppliers and the people in your supply chain, but also educating the people in your team to be mindful of the suppliers they're using and the practices that they're using. Um, so I think the challenges for us are that, yeah, there's long-term and short-term wins. Um, and I suppose the biggest challenge really for us being a startup and, and only being three years old is becoming a B Corp whilst also running a startup that's growing really fast. Um, and I suppose one of the ways that we've done that is that we've worked that into our targets as a business. So again, it's not something that we're kind of like, oh, we'll, we'll get to that, you know, on Friday, I'll, I don't have many meetings and I'll get to the B Corp stuff. It's part of our targets as a business. Um, and I think having that on your, we were talking, I was talking to our MD Emma yesterday about having personal things on your to-do list, like going to the dentist, and that will actually get you round to it. And I guess it's a similar sort of, analogy where you have to have it on your list. It can't just be something that you think you're going to get round to. It has to be a priority. So that's probably the biggest challenge is making it a priority, but we know it's important. So we have kind of prioritized it. The workers bit is interesting because from our point of view, we got quite high quite quickly because we had a strong culture and there were lots of things that we were doing were worked, but it wasn't really in, in either of the five areas. It wasn't really very rigorous or documented, so actually just getting asked and, get, and making it really um, not just what people feel and what people are around, but actually a bit more of a, of a, of a process. Yeah. Um, and so things on, on workers in particular, yes, okay, we had a great culture, yes, we had team bonding sessions, but actually when it came to IND, when it came to parental leave, like things that weren't set in stone that way, that's where B Corps really helped us. So now, for example, yeah, we have parental leave, which is giving the same as men as it is to women. Um, we, yeah, we have a affinity groups, which people are, again, part of their objectives. So we've just integrated that into much more of a formal way um, in that sense. 